one dasher on Blitzen. On Carter, we have a Christmas broadcast for both of these kids. Hurry up. Welcome to the 2016 Holiday Broadcast. I'm Carter and this is Tyler. Enjoy the show. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. On December 8th, Tony Wright, who was already a school board member, was voted as president by his peers during the annual reorganizational meeting. We know you are very busy and we are thankful that you took the time to sit down and talk to us about your new position. So, being on the school board already is a leadership role in the community. What made you want to go one step further? Uh, well, I feel like I, I have more to offer in this position. Uh, I like to speak with parents and community members uh, to get their opinion and to let them know that they are stakeholders in this uh, school district and that their opinions are needed. We need to know what their opinions are. Uh, we're all elected on the school board, so it's important that we find out what people would like to happen. And how does holding the title of president and its duties differ than being a regular school board member? Uh, not, not too much. We, we lead the board meetings. Uh, when I say lead the meetings, I mean we really just keep it flowing. Uh, we appoint board members to committees and if required, I guess we would be the spokesman for the board. Uh, there's no additional authority. Every board member gets one vote. Now, we are grateful for every past school board president, but how will you want your presidency to be remembered? Uh, I just want to be remembered as someone that has, has done that job well. Uh, in a school board, really, no one should stand out. Really, I'd like to leave the district in the same condition that, that Mr. Digg and the outgoing president left it in, which is a, a very good position. And then, do you have any immediate plans in your new role as school board member, whether it's enforcing new policies or bringing other policies more, giving them more attention? Well, really, that, that's our, our sole job. If not our sole job, at least that's our first priority, is forming policy, making sure policies are adhered to. Uh, I guess as a as a new president right away, I'd like to let people know that I'm approachable. Uh, and and right now we're finalizing uh, plans, uh, specifically drawings for some remodeling of this building, and also s some remodeling at the Mac. So so for now we're quite busy. Yeah, that's very exciting as well. And uh, is there any last thing that you, you'd want to tell everybody? now that you have this new role on our board and, and just any last comments really sure uh, we're all quite excited on the board that we're going to have a student uh, representative at the meetings from now on I, I believe i've heard that okay and also we don't always get the chance to tell students uh, how proud we are of, of their accomplishments here i mean it's it's quite evident uh, and, and that comes from having great uh, faculty here. We're also very proud of the faculty and what they do. Uh, without them, we wouldn't be in the great position that we're in. All right, well, um, I'm very excited for you to take this new role, and I'm sure you are too. I am. So uh, congratulations, Thank Mr. You. Wright. Thank you very much. I'm here with Robin Schreiber, who is just sworn in by Roger McRae at the December 8th board meeting, who is going to be our newest school board member. Now, what made you take on this job? That is a great question. I feel that what I wanted to do and, and help is be part of the community, and our family is, and be able to work at the school in a different capacity and be part of the positive changes that are going on in the Montgomery Area School District and try to learn a little more about the system and be there for the kids and for the community. All right, what are you most looking forward to in this new role in our community? I think it's the learning process first. There's a lot to take in, and I have a lot to get caught up on. But most, I feel it's the education part. It's near and dear to my part. I was a former educator, and making sure that we're thinking of the kids first and keeping their interest in mind. Okay. What challenges do you think the school board and public education face now in today? A lot of challenges, more so than we had growing up in, in the era that I grew up in, a lot of it now has a lot to do with what's being handed down through the state and the federal. A lot of money's not coming in. 
there's a lot of programs being cut because of it, and we're being pinched a little bit more than we used to be. We're not at liberty to be able to spend as much as we could and invest in our kids' futures. So I think ahead of us, that is going to be the biggest challenge. How are we going to make it work, considering we're such a small community already? But I feel that, that we, can, we can do it together. And is there any last message you'd like to send to the school, the community, now that you have this very respected position at our school board? Once again, that's a great question to end with, Cam. I think that the message I would like to send is that I'm here to listen. I'm here to help the community and the kids. Public education is something that at this time we're we're kind of failing a little bit for our kids and I want to be here to make the push to put it first and be able to come together whether it be with the staff, the administration, the community to make sure that that is our top priority here at the school. All right well thank you Mr. Shriver. I, I really do think that you will help us go in the right way with the community and uh, congratulations on getting such a great great role here in our community. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Next, we have a holiday theme segment. Hi, I'm Cheyenne, and I'm here for your holiday segment about family traditions. So, Maddie, are you looking forward to the Christmas season? Yes, I am definitely looking forward to the Christmas season. It is my favorite holiday. I love everything about it, so I am very excited. Are there any special traditions you and your family do? Uh, yes, uh, putting up the Christmas tree as a family, and uh, we watch Home Alone and A Christmas Story. And uh, another tradition is on Christmas, we uh, do the hide the pickle, which if you don't know what that is, the pickle is an ornament on the Christmas tree, and it is hidden on Christmas Eve, and then on Christmas Day you have to find it. That sounds a lot like fun. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about us? Christmas. My favorite part about Christmas is definitely being with my friends and family. Uh, I think that the holiday itself is about togetherness, so getting to be with my family and my friends is definitely my favorite part. Carter, Carter, you've been sleeping long enough. We have a broadcast. Oh, you're right. Next we find out how our teachers spend our holidays. Hi, I'm Melissa Rogers, and I'm interviewing Mr. Hunter on Christmas. Hey guys. So what do you like so much about Christmas? Oh, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Um, well, I love Easter too, but Christmas, it's just, every it's the time of year that everybody gets excited and in a really good mood. Like, I love the snow. I love um, getting people presents and getting presents, because like, I, I don't know, I still enjoy that. I'm the guy that, even though I'm 23 now, I still wake up my family at 6 a.m. to wake, to open the gifts, and they hate it. I just... I get so excited because it's, I don't know, it's just a time for everybody to get along and be happy and like to be kind to people. It's a, and obviously like for religious reasons too, but oh, I just love Christmas. Do you have any Christmas traditions? Um, I mean, other than making up my family, which they hate. Um, we open gifts, we normally go to my grandma's. I always try to get a movie, for, I ask for a movie for Christmas, that way we can all watch the movie together. And then normally like if there's time we'll go like sled riding or, I don't know, just do something fun. That's that's it though. Nothing exciting. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Mr. Hunter and his trig class to ask them the question of the week. So, Mr. Hunter, what's your favorite thing about the holiday season? Uh, I'd say like getting and receiving gifts. I mean, it's selfish to like to get gifts, but I still like it. Like I like to get up early for Christmas still and all that. Um, I just like how everybody's in a good mood around Christmas. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Senora to ask her the question of the week. So, Senora, what is your favorite thing about the holiday season? Um, there's lots I really love about the holiday season, but I have to say my favorite is spending time with my family and seeing all these giddy kids ready to go for their break. So That is awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Skylar to ask him the question of the week. So what's your favorite thing about the holiday season? My favorite thing about the holiday season is being with my friends and family any time of the week. <laughs> and just hanging out with my friends. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Chris, Autumn, and Biddy to ask them the question of the week. So what is you guys' favorite thing about the holiday season? Definitely Christmas sweaters. Mine is spending time with family that's really far away. Making Christmas cookies with my gram. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Yep. Yep. 
Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Gabby and Delena to ask them the question of the week. What's you guys' favorite thing about the holiday season? Mine would definitely be snow. I love it. <laughs> Food. Awesome, thank you guys so much. On Carter the Reindeer, tell them about our next segment. Next, we have the Cup of Joe segment with our hero, Joe Edkin. Hey guys, it's Joe, and today on Cup of Joe, I'm here with my little brother Zane. We're going to be talking about the upcoming holiday season that is coming actually right around the corner. So, Zane, what are some of your plans for this holiday season? We are going to go up to Willow Road to see our big family. We're going to have a big Christmas dinner. Sounds like we're gonna have quite a bit of fun this uh, holiday season, huh? Yeah. But um, is there any things that you want for Christmas? Anything that you want, wanting to get really bad? 3DS game. 3DS game. Any game in particular? Pokemon well, Sun. Pokemon Sun. You heard it here, guys. My little brother doesn't get Pokemon Sun. I'm sure he's not gonna be that happy on Christmas. Okay. On to the next one. Now we're here over with Mr. Ren, and we're going to be talking to Mr. Ren also about the upcoming holiday season. Mr. Ren, do you have any plans for your upcoming holiday season? We're going to travel around a little bit. We're going to see uh, some extended family and have a good time with them. Sounds like you're going to have quite a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, any dinner plans? Yeah, we always cook uh, Christmas dinner at my house because uh, my wife is the best cook in the family. So. It's usually how it is. It's always the wife that's the best cook in the you family. Better. Well, thank you for doing this. Good enough problem. Uh, thank you. See you next time. Now I'm here with Carter, and we're going to be finishing up this interview with him. So Carter, what's uh, some plans of yours for this holiday season? Well, every Christmas I go with my grandparents to their house. All my family meets there, and we hang out and eat delicious food, obviously, and give each other presents. Sounds fun. So does that mean you guys are going to have like a big Christmas celebration dinner there? Pretty much, yeah. Um, we all bring in, you know, pitch in our food, and we just all eat together, one big table. It's a great time. That's good. Uh, what's your favorite part about this holiday season? That's a tough one. It'd probably be, it's very generic, but it would probably be just spending time with the family. I don't get to see them that often. They all live like an hour away, so me being able to see them a lot is the best part, probably. Well, that's nice. Uh, thanks for doing the interview with us. No uh, problem, man. We'll see you guys next time on Cup of Joe, and be sure to all... Be very careful this holiday season, the roads are going to be crazy, and just make sure you're all bundled up tight, and have a great holiday. Bye! Up next we have an update on the 2016 Career Day with Vanessa. Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I'm here with Quinn, and we and about how last Tuesday. How do you feel about your last Career Day? Um, well, I always liked Career Day to experience new careers and stuff, and it was really helpful last year because I was a junior, and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, but this year they actually have... Um, what I want to major in, so that's pretty nice that I get to like learn more about it and actually talk to someone who has that as a job. So, and what do you nice. hope to get from Career Day? Um, well, I want to major in physical therapy, so I hope that I at least get that. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I'm here with Devin, interviewing him about his first Career Day. So, are you excited about your first Career Day? I'm pretty excited about my first Career Day. And what do you hope to get? I hope I get welding. Okay, thank you. Currently, our studio for the Radio Review has been undergoing a remodel. Up next for the review about that is Joe. Hey guys, it's Joe. And if you didn't notice from the previous little video we had, we have a new studio that's going to be used this January. Along with that studio, we have the green screen, and we also have four new light setups that we're going to be using. It's going to make some pretty good quality video. The next thing we have, if you didn't notice, we had a drone fly through. That's just, again, highlighting the drones that we have. And we also have new tripods as seen with that beautiful, nice, slow slide that we had. So stay tuned and be prepared for our next up. Next, we have an interview with the students of the month. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Cameron St. James to ask him about being student of the month. So student of the month is a huge accomplishment. And what are the benefits of being student of the month? Uh, well, I guess one of the benefits is definitely recognition of your hard work. Um, and you get a very sweet lunch. So as a senior, how does it feel knowing that you got that award? Well, um, I'll be honest, when they told me, my first reaction was, huh, what? But uh, it's, it's nice, it's nice to know that all your hard work after a while really does pay off and it's just a good feeling. Awesome, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Brooke and I'm here with Madison Earp to interview her about being student of the month. So Madison, being student of the month is a big accomplishment. What do you think are some of the benefits? I think the biggest benefit is 
that teachers have a chance to recognize those students. Awesome, thank you so much. And a special shout out to the other students of the month. 7th grade, Taylor McRae, 8th grade, Caitlin Taylor, 9th grade, Jalen Woods, and 10th grade, Margaret Walters. If you see them in the hallways, make sure to congratulate Hello, them. Hello, it's Dylan, we have some last minute news. We smell something good across the hallway, so let's go see what it is. So, Anagita, what exactly goes on at Cosmo? Um, well, there's meat. So, if you were the Italian, there's um, salami, bologna, and ham. And if you were turkey, there's turkey. Then you put provolone cheese. And then you'll stick it in the oven, let the cheese melt, and the bread toast. You'll pull it out. Then, if you want mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, onions, banana peppers, you'll put it on there, layer it up, and then, you know. How long, how long have you known how to make these Cosmos on your own? I've learned for about four years because my parents owned OIP, so I would help out. First I watched and then I got the opportunity to start making them and it's a pretty easy process if you keep doing it over and over again. Alright, thank you. You heard it here. Thank you for reviewing this week's broadcast and a happy holidays from our broadcast team to you. Happy holidays! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.